Welcome to Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. My name is Captain Phillip, and today I'm going to serve as your tour guide and pilot as we take a tour of downtown LA. The highlights of today's tour include an up close look at the LA skyline, the historic City Hall, the LA sports landmarks of Staples Center and Dodger Stadium, and much more. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to the channel to be a part of future aerial tours. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. The city of Los Angeles was founded in 1781 by 44 settlers of the Spanish Empire as Pueblo de Los Angeles, which translates to the town of Our Lady, the Queen of the Angels. Today, LA is a major city with a metro population of 12 million. And here's a fun fact, LA County has the most phone area codes in the US with eight total. And if LA were to become a state, it would have the fifth largest population in the country. Next is the LA skyline. There are currently 18 skyscrapers of 600 feet or taller in downtown LA. In fact, there are some 32 million square feet worth of office space in downtown. The most notable skyscraper is the U.S. Bank Tower, due to its crown roof. While it feels like the U.S. Bank Tower has been around forever, it is relatively young, being constructed in 1989. And in true LA fashion, the skyscraper was blown up in the blockbuster hit Independence Day. Ahead is the Wilshire Grand Center, which is the tallest building in LA at 1,100 feet or 335 meters. The skyline will continue to grow as more buildings are on the way, with over 300 active construction sites in the city. LA has a massive economy, which according to the Los Angeles Economic Development Corporation, has an annual economic impact of $807 billion. For perspective, if it were a standalone nation, its GDP would rank 19th, which would be ahead of Switzerland and Saudi Arabia. However, LA does have a large homeless population, which according to NPR is estimated to be at 66,000. The reasons for this are out of the scope of today's tour. Ahead is Los Angeles City Hall. Completed in 1928, it is the center of the government in Los Angeles and houses the mayor and city council offices. City Hall is one of LA's many iconic architectural structures. In 1998, the building was refurbished for a total of $135 million, which also included upgrades that could allow it to withstand a magnitude 8.2 earthquake. City Hall has been featured in numerous movies, including LA Confidential, Atlas Shrugged Part 1, and Tower of Terror. To the left of City Hall is the Clara Shortridge Foltz Criminal Justice Center, which is where the O.J. Simpson murder trial took place. Below is a quick look at the headquarters of the LA Times, the city's largest news publication and the country's fifth largest news circulation. Next is the Walt Disney Concert Hall, designed by architect Frank Gehry. The concert hall is an internationally recognized architectural landmark and one of the most acoustically sophisticated concert halls in the world. It seats 2,265 people and serves, among other purposes, as the home of the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, which is commonly and casually known as LA Phil. Construction occurred between 1999 to 2003 with a price tag of $130 million. 
However, for the first couple of years, the building actually produced a very problematic glare that blinded drivers and reflected heat to the nearby condos. In 2005, parts of the structure were dulled by lightly sanding the panels to eliminate unwanted glare. Below is the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, or FIDM for short, which is a private for-profit college offering degrees in fashion, interior design, beauty, and graphic design. Notable alumni include beauty YouTuber Nikita Dragoon, rapper and fashion designer Lil Debbie, and 90s child actor icon Amanda Bynes. LA is considered the creative capital of the world due to its influence in film, television, fashion, music, and art. One out of every six people in the region works in the creative industry. Right behind FIDM is the Fashion District, formerly known as the Garment District. The area caters to wholesale selling and has more than 4,000 independently owned and operated retail and wholesale businesses selling apparel, footwear, accessories, and fabrics. You can find fashion for clothes and accessories for up to as much as 70% off from retail prices. The fashion district spans 100 blocks, so make sure to wear comfortable clothing when you shop here. Our next stop is Dodger Stadium, home of the 2020 World Series champions, the LA Dodgers. The Dodgers moved to Los Angeles from Brooklyn in 1958. However, the move was very controversial at the time. The land for Dodger Stadium was seized from local owners and residents in the early 1950s by the city of Los Angeles. Using eminent domain with funds from the Federal Housing Act of 1949. The Dodgers would win the World Series the following year and have won six World Series since moving to LA. The franchise has a total of seven World Series championships, just one less than their arch rivals, the San Francisco Giants. Today, the Dodgers are the most unifying sports entity in LA, with the Dodgers baseball cap and Dodger dogs being synonymous with Los Angeles. Our last stop is Staples Center, opened on October 17, 1999. Staples Center is the most used sports complex in the world, hosting four professional teams, including the Los Angeles Lakers, Kings, Sparks, and Clippers. And it is the annual host of the Grammys. Since its opening, its tenants have won a total of 11 championships, six by the Lakers, three by the Sparks, and two by the Kings. And some of LA is still waiting on the Clippers to get one. Also, if you're looking for a bite to eat after a game, Right across the street, you have LA Live, which has plenty of great dining and entertainment options. As of this recording, the Lakers have 17 championships, which is tied for the most in the NBA. While New York and Madison Square Garden are the mecca of basketball, LA and Staples Center are now the capital of basketball. On the premises are statues of many of LA's greatest sports stars, including Magic Johnson, Wayne Gretzky, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Shaquille O'Neal with the statue of the late great Kobe Bryant to grace the premises soon. Kobe Bryant played 17 of his 20 seasons in Staples Center, winning five championships. And both of his jersey numbers of eight and 24 are already retired in the rafters. At night, Staples Center in downtown LA light up like no other place on earth. We'll have a full night tour of Los Angeles, so stay tuned for that. If you're looking for a beautiful picture for your home office or home office, make sure to check out our store at www.airworthyprints.com. Free shipping and a digital print is provided on each purchase. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, what were some of your favorite attractions and landmarks in downtown LA? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.